And also in New York today, Reverend Al Sharpton spoke out against anti-Semitism after a stabbing attack at a New York Hanukkah celebration that appeared to be a hate crime. NTD's Miguel Moreno has more on how people are handling the tragedy on the last day of Hanukkah. It wasn't the kind of announcement you'd expect to hear on the last day of Hanukkah. That hate anywhere is hate everywhere. Right. When you attack anyone, you're attacking me too. This weekend's attack on five Jewish men in Muncie, New York, brought together blacks and Jews who together decried hate. If it had been attacks against the members of the black community, we would have stood up and spoke out. The Muncie stabbing is the latest in a string of attacks or incidences in which Jews were the target over the holidays. The Anti-Defamation League has counted 13 since December 3rd. On Sunday, the NYPD released video of the suspect's arrest in New York City. 37-year-old Grafton Thomas is accused of breaking into a rabbi's home in Muncie, New York, and stabbing five people with a machete as they celebrated Hanukkah. Five were injured, one critically. Rabbi Mark Schneier said it's a dark time, but that there's hope. And to be standing here with African-American leaders speaking out against anti-Semitism, this is the light in a period of darkness that we're going through in New York right now. Thomas pled not guilty to five counts of attempted murder and one count of burglary. In a statement, his family said he had a long history of mental illness and hospitalization. They added that he has no known history of anti-Semitism. In Thomas's journal, however, police found drawings of swastikas on the same page as the Star of David. On his phone, there were repeated searches of why did Hitler hate the Jews. New York's governor and New York City's mayor have said they'll increase the police presence in Jewish neighborhoods, such as in Brooklyn, which has a large Orthodox Jewish population. So Mayor Bill de Blasio yesterday outlined a multifaceted plan aimed at preventing hate crimes, which includes adding curriculum to Brooklyn schools about stopping hate. Miguel Moreno, NTD News, New York.